Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about bringing you the truth and busting myths. Hey, I've been getting lots of good questions. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I love uh, your questions and I love answering them. That's what this show is all about, is giving you a direct opportunity to get your questions answered and to get the truth. One of the questions that has come in uh, multiple times is, do I need to load creatine? Is that necessary? Is there any science behind it? Or was it nothing more than a big marketing ploy? Well, <laughs> let me tell you how it started. Remember, I was the one that brought you creatine uh, back in the early 90s. And one of the things, there was a little study that was published talking about the benefits of loading. From a marketing standpoint, we figured out, wasn't necessarily me personally, but hey, 100 gram bottles, if they loaded at 10 grams a day for 99 bucks, that bottle would be gone in 10 days. So what it did was, is it caused people to buy more than one bottle in a month, you know, 200 bucks out of whack. So in the beginning, it was a marketing ploy to use more product. Now, is it necessary? Absolutely not. There have been as many studies on creatine monohydrate you know, showing that smaller doses are as effective as loading doses. Now keep in mind, you know, loading will give you some quicker results in the beginning. You're gonna hold more water, so psychologically, you know, you may think that you're gaining weight. Um, people do get some strength increases. But on the overall side, like I said, I don't really think it's necessary. Um, I'm a firm believer that smaller doses, um, more consistency are better for you than taking large doses. Uh, keep in mind most of the time you can't even use that much so it's either going to go through or you end up taxing your, your kidneys with high creatinine levels. Now we're talking about creatine monohydrate. All the other forms, hey you know what, you might as well take a bucket of it because they don't work anyhow. Um, creatine monohydrate is the king as I keep saying so if you're going to use any type of product use creatine monohydrate and if you want the emperor of creatine monohydrate that's crealkalin. Again, it's buffered creatine monohydrate. Just fix the flaw. So I hope that kind of answers your question that loading is not uh, a big necessity. Hey, send me your email if you've got any questions. I love answering them. And if I use it on the show, I'm going to send you $100 worth of free product. Take care and we'll see you next time.